no bunnies. I tell y'all what. I tell y'all what. The next, the next bad bitch y'all see me, I'm gonna get at. I'm gonna let you get on them, baby. You get on them. You get on them. Watch it. Watch baby get on them. <laughs> <laughs> The realest dude, you're too funny today, bro. What's your beef with AMS? Much love, bro. Thank you. It's no beef, my nigga. It's not a beef. Now I'm saying AMX making phone calls, desperately panicking. Because that video makes you look like a fucking clown, nigga. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Fuck is this nigga talking about? This nigga's bugging. Nigga, you better show me minds, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna take it by any means. Fuck is this nigga talking about? How many white girls walk by, nigga? How many other white girls walk by, nigga? And you still don't pull up. Looking. You still don't pull up. All sad, rusty, and tarnished, nigga. Looking pathetic, nigga. You to tell us how much we need to be working to be considered a man. How many hours a week do I need to work to be considered a man? Minimum 80 hours. If you're working less than 80 hours and you call yourself a man, you're joking. 80 How many inches does my junk need to be to be considered a man? Minimum seven inches. Bro. Every single man can get his wee wee to seven inches. If you're five inches, bro, you better start working on that shit today. If you're under six feet, do this. If you're under six feet, guys, you want to wear high sole shoes. Guys are going to make you appear more taller, which will make you more confident. If you're not the tallest guy, maximize what you can maximize. And if you're going out, make sure you wear shoes that make you feel a little bit more confident. Even if you are a tall guy, these will make you even taller. So I reckon you can always be taller. Look and wear high heels. That's how you be a man. I f your girl. You might as well kiss her goodbye. Mwah. She ain't gonna wanna come back to you. The life over here is, is a lot brighter. You know, she gets to come enjoy life with a real G. And you know, with you, it's kind of boring. It's just, eh. Now, if you don't want that to happen, you don't wanna have to kiss the girl goodbye. What you gotta do, my dog, is make sure that you're working on yourself to remain the best option for your girl. Not because you're doing it for your girl, but because you're doing it for yourself. When you make. Okay, good, good ish advice, but. I should not be doing this out of fear of you swooping in with your your gold watch and your gold chains. It's you can't be presenting information this way. It's not effective. Here's why you should let me be your girl's boy best friend. No. See this bear right here. She can sit up here and tell me about you know y'all problems. She can. It's. You can't be presenting information this way. It's not effective. Here's why you should let me be your girl's boy best friend. No. She's bad right here. She can sit up here and tell me about you know y'all problems. She can. He bought the Magnum condoms for this exact skit and then ended up never using them. Screaming in my ear. Oh, he doesn't treat me right. He doesn't want to go anywhere. You know, he'd be watching the city views. She can lay her head on my shoulders. Right, because you. Ooh. Who is the target audience of this co All right. How much money do you think a man needs to make to be happy? To be significantly happy, eight figures plus. I'm not- 10 million dollars or more if you wanna be- Like, you're, you're, you're speaking the gospel. Like, who cares? Moving forward, let's see how he thinks about being tall. Taller you are, the more attention you're gonna get. So you need to sure. enhance your height. Live. Height maxing. Let's see it. Shoes with a higher sole. Every time I'm going out, I am on average two to three inches taller than what I normally am. Does it so so you're insecure. Especially if I'm gonna be in an environment to where I know girls are gonna be around. I'm on moving, moving forward. I just think forward. that texting back fast actually makes them look more attractive. Guys, we're in 2024. If you guys don't know already, nice guys finish last. Oh uh, yes, the classic. Nice guys finish last. Instead of texting her bags really fast, you want to mirror her responses. This, she uh, takes two hours, you take two and a half. She takes three hours, you take four. You got to make it no, unpredictable. No, no, To the point no, where she doesn't no. notice that you're mirroring in her. This is stupid. Well, I, this, this, this one's... What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, The Real Booty Bandit. Back for another video. And for today's video... We're going to talk about uh, red pill dating coaches once again. Uh, this may probably be like my last video talking about them. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm going to just say this and just rant on them and stuff like that. So, 
when you watch, damn, fucking hair is all fucked up, bro. Yeah, when you watch these red pill dating coaches, you know, a lot of men, um, get, you know, like, you know, like they're dating coaches. So a lot of men that <clears throat> maybe they're not as confident in themselves or they want to get women, they watch them for advice. You know, they watch them to see, OK, what can I do to get women? Um, I think the first time I watched the dating coach, I was 15. I think it was it was some black dude. I forgot his name, but uh, I used to watch him and stuff like that. And I watched a couple others, you know. And. Uh, yeah, you know, a lot of these. A lot of these red pill dating coaches. Uh, they. They give out bad advice. They give out toxic advice. You know, um, as like, um, they they always tell you, oh, don't focus on women, level up, and all of this shit. Oh, don't focus on women. You know, oh, I don't give a shit about these girls like that. But yet, all most of their videos is about women. They claim not to give a shit about women, but the majority of their content is about women. You know, they they claim not to care about women, but the majority of their videos is about women. Oh, I don't give a shit about these girls, but yet you have 200 videos talking about women. They they talk about how women are they talk about how women act like this and how they behave and oh women are man women act like this and it's stupid and girls do this and girls do that and it's stupid and it's and it's dumb how they act like that and then they will try to feed in to what the women want like how how you going to say oh it's stupid that girls like this kind of shit that girls like bad boys but yet you try to be a bad boy to get her attention Even that dude, uh, what's his name? Uh, it's that dating coach that had got cancer. I forgot his name. And he said, oh, you know, uh, I think he was he was racked into a video of Tupac. He said, oh, yeah, you know, I want to talk to girls. You know, uh, I want to be nice to girls, but they don't like that. So I just act so I act so I act a different way or I talk to him a different way or some shit like that. So it's like, OK, so it's, it's basically you're faking the funk just to get women. You're putting on a persona that you claim that it's stupid that girls like this stuff, but yet you're putting on that same persona just to get women. You're putting on that same persona that you say, oh, it's so dumb that girls like men that do this, this and this. But yet you're trying to act like that to attract her. It's stupid. For example, something that is true. A lot of girls do like aggressive men. They do like aggressive men. They they, they they do like aggression. Some girls, they may like a lot of it. Some girls may like uh, a little bit of it. But a lot of girls, they do like a little bit of aggression. Some girls like it more than like more of it than others. You know, girls who like thugs and gangsters, they like a, a big ass amount of it. And then like the average and then this other kind of girls, they just maybe just like a little bit of it, whether it's aggression in the bedroom or some girls do like a little bit of aggression. And that's just that's a fact. So but for the girls who like gangsters, I'm not finna fucking walk outside and pretend to be like I'm fucking, you know, pretend to be like I'm old dog from Boys in the Hood. Just so girls get, oh, what's up? It's stupid. Some niggas really put on that persona just to attract women. They they, they put on that fake persona that isn't really who they are just to attract certain women that like that and it's stupid because it's you know you can't fake it forever eventually you're gonna be exposed like how six nine portrayed to be a gangster then when some gangster shit happened he folded and now he's exposed as a fake gangster you can't pretend to be that that's like either you gotta be it or or that's just not who you are you can't pretend to be that shit you want to know what what you can do authentically and you won't be exposed just be yourself no one can expose me because I'm, I'm I'm just who the fuck I am. You can't expose me for shit. I'm, I'm me. You can't say, oh, he's a fraud or some shit. No, I'm, I'm, I'm who the fuck I am. Right? 
So it's just stupid with that shit. And um, they just give out a lot of toxic advice and uh, they they do anything for women. Every everything that they, everything that they do is in order to attract a woman. All you know, and everything they do, like 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 the clip I showed at the beginning. Oh, you know, especially if girls are around, I make sure that I put on put on the soles to make me a couple inches taller. Like, yeah, especially if there's girls around. Like, nigga, that's all you. That's all these niggas care about is 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 impressing women. That's all they that's all they care about. Trying to attract women. They're trying to attract women. And I understand as a man, if you're heterosexual, you're gonna. You know, it's out of your control that you were born with these human desires. I, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding to the fact that, of course, you're going to be attracted to women, but don't base your whole entire existence around trying to get women. That should not be your entire existence. Oh, I got to do everything I can to get a girlfriend, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm even go against who I am, and I'm going to level up, not just because I want to level up for me, but I'm going to level up just for women, just like that drop of melancholy video. Uh, when you talking about working out and all the other shit, the dude asked that question because he says, oh, I want to get buff so I can get girls. It's lame. Why don't you just get buff? Because that's just what you want to do for yourself. You shouldn't do something just to get some damn chicks, man. And I used to kind of be like that, too, as a younger guy, teenager. Oh, I got to do this to get girls and shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I really don't give a shit about girls. Right. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I have a girlfriend now, but, you know, I, uh, with that situation, I, you know, I wasn't looking for no damn girl. I just fucking, just, that situation just fell into my lap. I wasn't even looking for that shit. So I don't give a shit about attracting women or, you know, some shit like that. Obviously, there are times where you, you know, I mean, obviously I'm a human being, so there are times, you know, uh, if I go in public and I see some fine ass girls, I'm like, oh shit, you know, uh, do I look good or some shit like that? Like, I mean, that's just that's just what I think people do in general. If 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 you're around an attractive person, you're gonna try to, you know, uh, you want to look good or some shit like that. Or, but sometimes when, when it happens, I have to, I I, I have to uh, I have to snap myself out of that because like, what the fuck? Who gives a fuck if this bitch is right here? You know, if I look rough right now, and then fuck it. You know, but but yeah, sometimes yeah, you know, we all do that shit sometimes, because because we're human, we're human beings. Okay, so it's gonna fucking happen. If you're a girl and <laughs> whether you're lesbian or straight, let's say you a chick and you're a lesbian and fucking um, I don't know, this a bad bitch come out. You like, oh shit, oh my fucking hair ain't done. Oh fuck, this bitch right here, you know, my hair ain't done. Or if you gay and you see a strong, a big handsome nigga, you be like, oh fuck, I ain't get my fucking line up right today. Oh fuck, you know. But, you know, so sometimes when I do that shit, I just got to snap myself out of it because it's stupid. Who gives a fuck? You're not going to, you know, you're not going to look good every every single fucking day. So fuck it. <laughs> and if I'm just running to the store just to grab just a carton of milk, I'm not going to do get all dressed up looking fly like that dude that dresses up just to go to Target to get some damn groceries and then he goes right home. I'm not going to do all that shit just to get some damn groceries. I'm going to just walk, throw on some sweats, shirt, get my shit and come back home. <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah, but there's a lot of toxic advice, you know, there's many red pill dating coaches out there like FedEx Fearless, Austin Dunham, MJ Get Right, Steph is Cold, Kevin Samuels, uh, fucking, um, Andrew Tate, uh, fucking, uh, I think Corey Wayne is one of them. Yeah. I don't know if he, I don't know if he considers himself red pill, but. Um, alpha male strategies, all these niggas, man, they just give toxic ass advice that, you know, if you watch them, they'll make you feel insecure about yourself. Cause they're, they're very black pill too. All they, you know, like they, they judge you by, they judge you by your face and how much money you got and how you look. And if you got, if, if you're buff or not. And it's crazy because these same niggas talk about all oh, women. All they care about is money and status and this, this, and that. And, oh, yeah, you know, men judge women by this, this, and that. But these same niggas judge men by the same way, by the same principle that, that some women judge men. Some of these men judge other men by how some some of these women judge men. Oh, he don't got enough money. Oh, and, and really, to be honest, a lot of these niggas these days, they will judge you more than women. These niggas on the internet will judge you more like these red pill motherfuckers. 
they will judge you more than an actual woman will judge you. Oh, look at your face. Oh, you, your face look like this. Oh, damn, man. What You know, like the little clips I showed of FedEx, FedEx Fearless. The, the, a lot of these niggas will judge you more than women will judge you. And it's crazy because you a man and you have more criticism about how another man looks and about another man than, than, than a fucking chick. So it's, it's just crazy, man. <laughs> and with the video I showed of FedEx Fearless approaching girls, you know, he's not that good at that shit. He's not, as much as he talks all that rah-rah, he's not, he's not that good at it, you know? And 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 and, it's, and 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 that's fine, but don't claim to be. You're just some fucking. Oh, I'm just the best motherfucker out here. But when you when you got tested, you you folded. When you, when you got put to the test, you failed. Right. A lot of these niggas really don't be having like. A lot of these niggas, these dating coaches, they really don't have girls in their videos like that. It's just them on the camera talking. They don't really have any receipts. A lot of these dating coaches. The only one that I seen had receipts was um, was Austin Dunham when he did. I think he did like a Tinder experiment and he had girls like, oh, you fine and all that shit. Um, you know, but a lot of these niggas, they don't have receipts. And then a lot of these niggas, you know, they're considered a dating coach, but some of them not even trying to even get into a relationship. So it's like, how are you going to call yourself a dating coach, but you're not even looking for a girlfriend or any sort of relationship? Then, then you're not a dating coach. You're just, you would be, you would be considered just a coach who's trying to just get, get his dick wet. You, all you're trying to do is get your dick wet. So you're not really a dating coach. If you're not dating with the intention, the purpose of dating is to uh, have it, the intention of getting into a relationship or some sort of, yeah, some sort of relationship, Right. You're just trying to get your dick wet and hook up. You're not really a dating coach. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just, it's just trash, man. Trash. And a lot of these niggas, you know, they're they're extremely lustful. All they trying to, yeah, they just trying to get their body. These be the same niggas say, oh, I don't, all this, all, all these girls got, these girls got, got this high amount of body count. These girls got got all these bodies, but yet these niggas got a high body count, just like the girls they're talking about. So what what's different from you and them? You got y'all both got high body count. What's the difference? You know, oh these girls play games. Yeah, Yo, you playing games with them like Austin Dunn. Oh, if she texts four hours, you text four point five hours. All they try to do is get leverage over the women that they talking to. You play games just like the, some of these girls play games. Y'all both playing games. Some of these girls playing games and y'all playing games. Which I used to be dating and yeah, girls do play games. I, I, I have experience with that. But just because she's playing a game doesn't mean I'm going to try to match her energy and play games with her. If she's playing games, I'm going to say, well, fuck you. I'm, 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 you know, I'm done talking to you. I'm, I don't got time for that. If if she's playing games, I'm not finna match that energy and play games too. It's childish. We are adults. If if a chick's playing games, I'm not finna fucking match that shit and try to play it. Yeah, because a lot of girls do play games. But I'm not finna match it just so we can be playing games back and forth. That's just childish. Oh, how 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 long should you respond after how long should it take you to respond to a text? I respond just when I feel like it. I may respond quick. Uh, or it may take me a little bit to respond. It just depends on what I'm doing or if I feel like talking to you or not. It just depends. So, but typically, yeah, it just depends, man. So, it's it's just stupid, man. All this dumbass advice they they make you feel insecure, make you feel like you're less of a man. Then they always then they always try to attack your manhood. Oh, you oh you're not a man unless you do this. Oh. You're not a man unless you uh, act like this or do this or, or or unless you have this. You know, it's just bullshit. <laughs> a lot of these niggas, they're not, and even and these niggas, they're not really smashing as much as many chicks as they claim. They're not just out here just slaying bitches like you know, like a dragon, like a dungeon dragon, ruh, ruh, like a dungeon dragon. You know, they're not really slaying these bitches like that. They're not really just. 
just slaying as many bitches that you think they're slaying. Right? I bet you, because where's the receipts? A lot of these niggas don't even have receipts. A lot of these dating coaches, all they do is get on the fucking screen and talk. Where's the receipts? And if they are, this, and, and if they are, and if some of them are slaying girls like they claim, then, then you, like I said, you're just looking for hookups. You're not looking for a relationship. Because they, they brag, oh, yeah, you know, I fuck all the bitches. Or, oh, you're a virgin. Like, so, nigga, I thought you are dating. I thought the purpose is you're trying to help somebody find a relationship. Not help somebody just slay pussy. It's stupid. You're not really a dating coach then. What, okay, if if I'm trying to get a relationship, why what is why does it matter if, if I'm a virgin or not? Why are you bragging about body count and how you slaying bitches? What does it have to do with dating? Trying to get a relationship? What does it have, does it have to do with that? It's stupid. Their advice sucks. It's very toxic, very toxic advice, and a lot and a lot of people that follow this. Either you're going to attract a toxic girl or you're going to run away a, a girl that really liked you. But because you was listening to these stupid ass men, you just ran her away. and She don't want nothing to do with you no more. I believe e even Pointless Rat Race made a video about that, how there was a girl that liked him. But he was following that red pill bullshit and he ran the girl away and he, and he realized, oh, shit, this is bullshit. See, you see, there's some men that are conscious enough to know that this stuff is bullshit. <laughs> Right, because for me, I for me, I ain't trying to attract no toxic ass girl. If a girl likes me because I'm treating her like shit, then why the fuck would I want a girl like that that has no self respect? Oh yeah, girls like when you treat them like this and treat them like yeah. There are girls that do. There are girls that do like that. There are girls that do like men that treat them like garbage. There are girls like that. I've seen it. But why would I want a girl like that who has no self respect? Why why would I want a girl like that? Who will allow me to treat her any kind of way, smack her in the face, verbally disrespect her, and she like she likes that shit. It's stupidness. Why, why would you want a chick like that? A chick that don't have no self respect. Chick like, hey, you ain't gonna talk to me like that. If if, if that's how you're gonna talk, I'm leaving. Why would you want a girl that that will put up with that? A lot of these niggas are narcissistic and controlling. These red pill niggas, they're very controlling. They want things to go their way. And a lot of these niggas, some of them are secretly, uh, some of them, when they're on camera, they put on that bravado, but when they're really around women, they don't they don't act like they're so fucking macho like they do towards their male viewers. When they're around a woman, they're all sweet, hey, what's up? But they're on camera, yeah, nigga, I'm that nigga, motherfucker, yo, what's up, dude, 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 dude. It's all just a fucking, a fucking facade, some of these motherfuckers. It's crazy. Ridiculous, man. And all niggas that watch niggas are incels or young p guys that don't know the truth about women. It's, it's ridiculous, man. You want to know the truth about women? You want to know the truth about women? Guess it's this simple. Either she likes you or she don't. It's that simple. Either she likes, either she likes you. Or she don't. There's nothing you can do to make somebody like you. I don't give. There's nothing you can do. If a motherfucker don't like you, they don't fucking like you. Doesn't matter if you get jacked. Doesn't matter if if you get jacked. And you know, I, I like dropping Miller Collie's channel. And hey, maybe he was just speaking from from his experience. You know, he got. You know, he he lives in Florida, and a lot of girls. He said, you know. He, he smashed a lot of girls that have boyfriends and stuff like that. And a lot of girls like him because he's Jack, you know. But every girl's different. That's the thing that these red pill niggas need to understand. Every girl's different. Yes, we're all human, so we do have our similarities. But every girl is not just a carbon copy of each other. I already said this before. Some girls like light skin niggas. Some girls like dark skin niggas. Some girls like niggas that are a little chunky. Some girls that like niggas that are buff. Maybe we'll drop melancholy in his situation. He lives in an area where girls primarily like buff men. That's not every fucking girl. 
I've seen guys who I considered like ain't all that, and the girl was all over them. Every girl's different. Either she likes you or she don't. It's that simple. Either she likes you or she don't. It's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do. And it's every girl's different. Like like you know, I used to tell dudes, oh, make sure you have good hygiene and da da da. I've seen girls mess with dudes who didn't have the best hygiene. I, I've seen girls mess with dudes who treat them like garbage. I've seen girls mess with dudes who had good hygiene. Girl, girls mess with dudes who treat them, who treat them with respect. Um, I've seen you know girls say, oh oh, oh I like light skin. Oh I like dark skin. Oh I like. You know, I like guys that are a little chunky. Oh, I like guys that got some muscle on them. I, I, I've I, seen every fucking shit. It's all random. It's all random. Uh, it's all random. Every girl is attracted to different shit. Some girls going to find you attractive. Some girls aren't going to find you attractive. It's that simple. Throughout my life, even with me having a stomach, I've had girls say, oh, you cute and all this shit. They didn't give a fuck that I had a stomach. Didn't care. Right? Didn't give a fuck that I had a stomach. And they came at me first. I wasn't coming at them. They came at me. They didn't give a fuck that I had a stomach, a dad bod, or whatever you want to call it. So, all this, oh, this, you got to be buff. See, a lot of these, see, a lot of these men, they like to project what they think a man should look like. And they say, oh, that's what women like. And I'm not saying there are not no women that don't like buff niggas. There are, of course. But 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 they like to project what they think a man should look like. And they say, oh, that's what women like. As you see, Phil, X Phil is going to approaching women and getting rejected, even though he has all the muscles and all of that shit. It's not just about your fucking muscles, motherfucker. It's about your personality. It's, it, it, it's a combination. Because, yes, looks do matter with women. It does. They have to find you attractive. That's any human being. We all want to be with somebody that we're physically attracted to. Yes, girls do look for somebody who's attractive, obviously. But after the looks, it's the personality. Okay, he's cute, but let me see what his personality's like. And then that's when they're going to decide, okay, I want to fuck with this motherfucker. It's not just looks. Looks, looks do get you in the door. Personality is what keeps you. The looks do get you in the door, but the personality is what keeps you. And a lot of these women that, that just go for looks, they're typically like young ass girls, like maybe teenage girls, where they're just all focused on looks and shit. But once they grow older, they're going to understand that looks ain't everything. It, that, those may just be little teenage girls. Oh, all I care about is how he looks. Right. But an older woman with some maturity, she's not just going for this goal for your fucking looks. Oh, she gonna say, oh, you cute, but you don't have no substance. Where's your substance at? It's, it's, the muscles ain't just going to... Just because you got big muscles ain't just going to mean she's just going to fucking drop her drawers for you. If she's a mature woman. And if you're a man looking to, if you're a man looking for a mature woman, she's not going to go for that. Yeah, she's going to be attracted to Oh, he fine as hell. But she ain't just going to go for that just because you look good. Just like with me. I'm, I'm mature. Like, just because a girl look good doesn't mean I'm just going to fuck her just because she's attractive. Just because just she has a fat ass. I'm like, oh, yeah, she got a fat ass, but... What else does she got to offer? Besides, that's all she got is just her ass? What else? Can, can, can all she do is just make me bust a nut? Is that all this bitch can do? See, people that got mature, that are mature, will think of things like that. They're not just going to just think with just their, with just their, with their, with just their genitals. They're going to actually process, yo, should I spend time with this motherfucker? It's... Red pill niggas, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So don't watch these motherfuckers. I'm not saying they don't get. There's not some things they say that ain't that that's not true, or some things that are true. But the majority of their advice is toxic and bullshit. You're gonna either attract a toxic ass woman, or you're gonna miss out on a good woman because you was listening to this dumb shit. Real talk. You don't have to be buff to get women, motherfucker. You don't have to be six foot five. To get women. You don't have to have a jawline to get women. <laughs> okay. I don't care who says it. Even if the person speaks dogmatically, oh, the, you know, oh, you, you only, if you, only if you buff, you'll get girls. No, no, 
No, you won't. And with me, I'm not trying to just attract low vibrational women. And what I mean by that, I'm not just trying to attract hoes that don't have no substance. They're just fucking, all they did is only good for sex or they're just low vibrational. They're just sheep ass women. I ain't trying to attract that. I don't give a fuck about just attracting a whole bunch of women. A lot of these niggas, they, they, a lot of these red pill niggas, they, they talk about all girls, you know, all, you know, girls, uh, they look for validation. They look for validation too. You just trying to look good to get all these women. You and you try to do shit just to get validation from other men and other women. So you trying to get chase validation, just like the IG models are. You doing the same thing. So it's just it's ridiculous, man. It's crazy. So. Even Steph is cold. I could tell that he had his heart broken in the past and he's so aggressive. Oh, yeah. Stupid ass bitch flaked on you and shit. Dumb ass ho. Dumb ass ho. Act like I don't exist. You're gonna be in that pussy just like that, too. Yep. Just like that. Missed out. Yep. You know, somebody else, somebody, somebody else finna dig them guts out, G. All that shit. What it, what it do, right? He gotta be from Baltimore. What it do, right? You can tell the nigga so damn angry in his damn videos. It's just ridiculous. Like, calm the fuck down, dog. You know, these niggas either got their heart broken, and that's why they on some, and they went to the dark side because they got their heart broken by a female. And now they, now they're in their, now they're in their villain era. It's crazy. Secretly, some of these dudes they deep down want a relationship, but they trying to, but they trying to act like they don't want it. It's crazy, and I'm not a motherfucker that thinks relationships are the everything in the world because everything in this world is pointless. Even a relationship, even though I'm in a relationship, it's still pointless. But hey, everything in this life is pointless, so fuck it. Everything, even this video is pointless because we all gonna die anyways. And if nothing, and if we die and it's nothingness, then you won't even remember that I made this goddamn video. So it's all pointless. But everything's pointless if, if that's the case. So fuck it. Relationships pointless, but hey, if everything's pointless. So if you wanna be in one, be in one. Fuck it. But don't make it seem like, oh, don't fucking make it seem like it's the fucking end all be all of life. Oh, oh, I, I need that. You don't need shit. You don't need it. If it comes your way, it comes your way. And if it don't, it don't. Be cool with both outcomes. Fuck that shit. It's crazy. Yes, it's in, yes, it's, it's in your human nature to desire a partner. I get that. It sucks that we have these fucking human nature desires, but I, I'm conscious of it. Right? But... It's not the it's just, it's not the end all be all, man. So chill the fuck out with that relationship show. Oh, you get, oh, I need a girlfriend. All this incel bullshit, Mister Antinatalist. Oh, I cannot get the woman. All this shit, man. This is crazy. Like chill the fuck out. Mm. Some of these red pill niggas, they're not. Some of them don't even have as much money as they claim that they have. It's just crazy. You know, may maybe I should be a red pill dating coach and fucking scam niggas and make it seem like I'm just fucking Chris Brown or Michael Jackson getting all the hoes. Now, them niggas actually was getting a lot of bitches like that. If you're a celebrity, you're going to get a whole bunch of women. Do celebrities get thousands, hundreds of thousands of women. Michael Jackson, when he was alive, he was he had thousands of women trying to fuck him. Thousands. That nigga. See, red pill niggas make it seem like they're Michael Jackson. Now, now, if Michael Jackson was a red pill dating coach, okay, maybe his advice would be credible. Chris Brown, credible. Usher, credible. Fucking Brad Pitt, credible. But just, if, these niggas actually get hundreds of thousands of women, girls who would leave they man to fuck these motherfuckers, because a lot of girls they do care about status and all the other dumb shit, which is also stupid as hell. Right? Really, a lot of human beings in this world ain't shit. It's, it's men and women. 
That's just most human beings. You know, I'm speaking from a from a heterosexual male perspective. So my perspective is is just coming from a heterosexual male perspective. If you, there, there are other people on YouTube that talk from a lesbian perspective, a bisexual perspective, I'm only speaking from a heterosexual male perspective. And yes, most human beings ain't shit. It's, it's going to be hard as fuck to find a good man or a good woman because both ain't shit. <laughs> I'm just keeping it hunting. You know? Both ain't shit. You know? So, yeah, I don't, I don't like groupy ass women. I don't like women like that. Oh, I'm going to fuck him just because he's rich and famous. That's just groupy shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. You know, but hey, men and women are different. We 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 have we find different things attractive. And a lot of women, yes, they do find status attractive. Oh, how much you know, but those are like women that you really shouldn't go for any damn way. You should go for a chick where it doesn't matter if you have money or not, she's still gonna fuck with you. It shouldn't be oh only if you have a lot of status am I gonna speak to you. That's some fucking groupy shit. That's some bandwagon gold digger bullshit. So you shouldn't talk to a girl like that any goddamn way. Why would you want to self-improve to attract a girl that only likes niggas that got money? Why would you even want to attract a girl like that in the first damn place? You see that? You see how that makes no sense? Oh, let me self-improve so I could get a chick who didn't like me when I was broke so she could like me now. Why would you want a girl like that in the first fucking place? And then some niggas be like, oh, well, I, I wouldn't date her. I'll just fuck her and keep it pushing. Why, why, would you want to, why would you even want to fuck her? So what, that's your way of getting back at her or something? It's just fucking stupid. All this shit is just dumb as fuck, man. It's childish. Fuck all this shit. But people, men say, oh, you got to get money to get women. That doesn't make them like you for you. That just makes them like what you have. They they see you as a check. They don't see you as, oh, I actually like this guy. Once you lose that bag, they're going to go away. That does, See, that's the thing about that. Money doesn't make a girl like you. It only makes them like what you have. And once that bag runs away, they're going to run away too. Oh, yeah, if I got rich and I was famous, yeah, I'll have girls liking me, but are they going to like me for me or is it just going to be just the status I have? So that that, that doesn't make a person lo- fall in love with you because of just because you got money. It's just the, the status and the, the cash associated with it. So I don't I don't feed into that shit. I don't give a shit about trying to impress women or oh how can I do this to get women or oh what do women want and all this man I don't give a fuck about none of that shit fuck that shit man I have I, I, you know I do have a partner so I have to compromise a little bit just to make her comfortable but I'm not just out here just caring about what the fuck girls want oh what do women want and how can I do this to get women and all that I don't give, I don't give a shit man I don't give a fuck about none of that bullshit I don't give a fuck nigga don't give a shit, right? You need to find you need to find a girl like Hinata. Hinata like Naruto, when he was just a loser, couldn't fight, always was getting his ass beat, and he was at he was at his lowest, and she still liked him. You don't want to talk to chicks that only like you when you come up. You need to talk to chicks who like you when you a broke ass motherfucker. I don't give a shit. If, girl, if some people say, oh, girl, some some people tell me, oh, girls don't like guys that do this. I don't give a fuck. If girls don't like me because when I was staying, when I was living, living with my mom, oh, girls don't like guys that stay with their mom. I don't give a fuck what the fuck women like. <laughs> don't give a fucking shit. And that's not true. Girls date all kinds of men. Girls date me. A lot of these thugs, they're so-called bums too. Sit like, sit on the couch, play Madden. Ain't providing for the fucking child, and they still fuck these niggas. Shit, they don't. You don't gotta. <laughs> some of these girls fuck with deadbeat niggas. You don't gotta fucking have money to get women. Do you think thugs are rich? They live in a fucking hood. They trapping. They trapping out the band. They ain't fucking. They don't got bread like that. And they still riding these niggas' cocks. Fuck that. Oh, you got to have money, nigga. No, the fuck you don't. And if you do, and if you do attract women because you got money, you're only attracting gold diggers. Girls date broke men all the fucking... That's a, that's a lie. Girls only like rich men. Girls date broke men all the fucking time. All the time. 
girls date bum ass niggas all the fucking time. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a fucking lot. Oh, girls only like niggas that got money. And if they and if there are girls like that, then that's gold digging. That's 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 it. It's that is that's all that it is, man. So <laughs> fucking crazy. And just because you got money. You can still have problems with, with women. I mean, look at the divorce. Like, you can get... <laughs> look at people like Johnny Depp going through the, the divorce with, with his wife. And she, well, I guess she's shit in the bed or some shit, some nasty shit. You know, just because you get money doesn't mean that you won't... That you no longer are going to have women problems. Whether you're rich or poor, you're going to have women problems. you rich, you, you got to worry about getting divorced. And getting all half your shit taken from you. Just because you get rich doesn't mean... Because these alpha... Oh, if you get rich, all your women problems, you, you know, you'll be the top dog and all this other shit. Nigga, you can still have women problems even if you get rich, man. Right? You still have women problems. You know. <laughs> Money is not going to change that. You know. You still got to... You still got to watch your back. And see people using you and shit. It's just that is that's why I'm just not trying to worry about women like that. I'm in a relationship, but that was just unexpected. It wasn't like I was looking for it. Just happened, you know. Women, you always gonna have to deal with women problems, whether you're broke or whether you're rich. So it's it's just dumb as hell. So that, getting rich ain't gonna change nothing. You gonna have more access to women, but they're gonna be um, gold digging. Um, a lot of them. And you still got to be careful with that shit. So, you know, most human beings ain't shit. That goes for men and women. Both. Both both parties, the majority of them ain't shit. A lot of niggas ain't shit. A lot of these hoes ain't shit. Period. That's just most human beings. You know? But that's all I got to say. I'm out. Fuck all you niggas, you niggas ain't shit. Fuck all you niggas, you niggas ain't shit. Fuck all you bitches, you bitches ain't shit. Fuck all you bitches, you bitches ain't shit. Fuck all you niggas, you niggas ain't shit. Fuck all you bitches, you bitches ain't shit. Fuck all you bitches, you bitches ain't shit.